Welcome back to the Network Fundamentals for Cybersecurity Students series. Today, we're diving into one of the most essential tools in cybersecurity, firewalls. Understanding how firewalls work is crucial for protecting networks from cyber threats. By the end of this video, you'll know what a firewall is, how it works, and why it's a critical defense mechanism. Imagine your network is like a house, and data packets are like people trying to enter. A firewall acts like a security guard at the door, deciding who gets in and who stays out. It monitors, filters, and controls traffic based on security rules. Firewalls are placed at the entry points of a network, between your internal systems and the outside world like the internet. Their job is to block malicious traffic while allowing safe communication. Firewalls inspect every piece of data, called packets, that enters or leaves a network. These packets contain source and destination addresses, just like an envelope with a sender and recipient. The firewall checks each packet against its security rules to decide if it should be allowed or blocked. If the packet follows the rules, it passes through. If it violates the rules, it gets blocked. This process prevents unauthorized access, stopping hackers, malware, and other threats before they can harm your network. There are several types of firewalls, each with different levels of security and functionality. Let's break them down. One packet filtering firewalls, the most basic type. It examines packets based on IP addresses, ports, and protocols. If a packet matches an allowed rule, it gets through. If not, it's blocked. Two stateful inspection firewalls, more advanced than packet filtering firewalls. It keeps track of active connections and only allows packets that are part of a legitimate session. Three proxy firewalls, acts as an intermediary between users and the internet. Instead of connecting directly, your request goes through the firewall, which checks for threats before sending data to the destination. Four next generation firewalls, NGFWs. The most advanced type uses deep packet inspection, malware detection, and even AI to analyze threats. Firewalls work by following rules set by network administrators. These rules define which IP addresses are allowed or blocked, which ports and services can be used, what types of traffic are permitted, e.g. HTTP, HTTPS, FTP. For example, a company might create a rule that only allows web traffic, port 80 and 443, but blocks everything else. This limits the attack surface and prevents unauthorized access. Firewalls play a crucial role in protecting against unauthorized access, blocks hackers from entering your network. Malware and viruses prevents malicious traffic from spreading. DDoS attacks can limit the number of connections to prevent overload. Data leaks stop sensitive data from being sent outside the network. Firewalls work alongside IDS, IPS, and encryption to create a multi-layered security strategy. While firewalls are powerful, they are not a complete security solution. They can't stop all cyber threats alone. That's why organizations use additional security tools like antivirus software for malware detection, intrusion detection systems, IDS, to monitor suspicious activity, encryption to protect data even if it's intercepted, Firewalls are just one piece of the cybersecurity puzzle. They must be properly configured to be effective. To make the most of your firewall, follow these best practices. Regularly update firewall rules to adapt to new threats. Use both hardware and software firewalls for layered protection. Monitor firewall logs to detect suspicious activity. Block unnecessary ports and services to minimize attack vectors. Combine firewalls with other security tools for complete protection. Let's summarize what we've learned today. Firewalls monitor and filter network traffic based on security rules. There are different types of firewalls, including packet filtering, stateful, proxy, and NGFWs. Firewalls protect against unauthorized access, malware, and data breaches. They should be used with other security measures like IDS, IPS, and encryption. By understanding and properly configuring firewalls, you're taking a big step towards securing your network. That's it for today's episode of Network Fundamentals for Cybersecurity Students. Want to stay updated on the latest cybersecurity news? Check out our cyber news blog on Substack, where we provide daily updates in a quick and summarized format. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so you never miss a new episode. Until next time, stay curious, stay secure, and keep learning.